Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of the French Connection. You join us today at the at the charging location. It's called an on-the-run charging location. And uh, I've talked about it in one of my uh, previous videos. I've used it with the Bolt EV when I was doing the sound alarm challenge. And uh, I thought I would do uh, the next episode of the where we are talking about charging network about those specific uh, chargers. So yeah, let's talk about it in a bit more uh, details and let's go over the presentation. So the uh, on the run charging network is a charging network that has been started by Parkland. It's a big company based out of uh, Calgary. And their goal was to link Vancouver Island to Calgary. So they're building those uh, charging locations with those uh, free wire boost charger all over British Columbia on Highway 1. And they're also going to build some charger in the interior of uh, some charging locations, sorry, in the interior of BC. They already started to do that. So right now they have 32 locations available. Uh, and at every location, you're going to have from one to six chargers. And on each charger, you can charge two cars. So that's pretty good, I say. Uh, they have 12 more charging locations coming soon that are already built. They just need to be put online. And eventually, uh, they, their goal is to have 50 charging locations around British Columbia and Alberta. So, uh, like I mentioned, from one to six chargers on each side, as you can see in this, on the, at this particular location at, uh, at the Beer Spa, uh, it's called Beer Spa Kananaskis Travel Center, there is two chargers. And this specific one, has so they're uh, free wire let's talk about the charger in a bit more details the chargers in a bit more details they are free wire boost charger 150 and 200 so at some locations like here you're going to have 150 kilowatts max on the ccs connectors and at some other locations you're going to have 200 kilowatts as mug is showing you you're always going to have only 100 kilowatts on the chatemo connector and you'll always have one Chalimo connector at every location, and that's usually it. All the other chargers are gonna be full CCS. Uh, so they can provide up to 500 volts and up to 350 amps. But remember, if you've watched my video with, uh, when I was using the bolts to do the sound alarm challenge, the way they work is they are powered by a battery. So in each charger, you have 160 kilowatt hours battery that's going to allow you to fast charge your car. But then, once the battery is depleted, the battery is going to charge only at the maximum rate of 27 kilowatts, and sometimes even less. So, if you have a big car coming, like just before us here, there was a Ford Lightning charging, and I'd do a big and deep charge on the Ford Lightning or, or Rivian or etc., those big battery uh, cars, well, you're not going to have much left in the battery. So that's going to be interesting. That's why I parked right here. I don't know how much the Lightning used, but I want to see how much is left, uh, the potential left in the charger. All right. Uh, also, it's interesting to note that usually, I don't know for this one, because there is actually not an on-the-run uh, convenience store uh, beside me, but when you have an on-the-run convenience store beside the chargers, you can usually have a free coffee. So that's, uh, that's interesting to note. All right. How about we start charging or try to activate the charger at least? Uh, it looks like here all the connector, the both chargers are working and you can use all the connectors because at some locations where I've been, sometimes you have only one connector available. The other one is going to be red here, and uh, which means you can't use it, but we're in luck today. Okay, so for the activation, you can only, you can only do it one way. Sorry, I'm trying to uh, start my screen recording here. There we go. So the only way to do it, as you can see, it, it's written here, uh, is that uh, you have to download the Journey Rewards app to start the charge. Okay, so let's do just that. Oh, before uh, I forget, I didn't mention the pricing. It's because there is none. It's free. So let's just take a look here. If I click on pricing, forgot to mention that. Oh yeah, and let's talk about it actually because it's a problem in my opinion. So you can see it's free. So when you're in the remote location like here, uh, in Alberta, like we're at the Beer Spo Kananaskis Travel Center, like I mentioned. It's not a problem. As you can see, they're all available and people are not going to come to recharge their car for free. They're actually going to do it here when they need to, when they're traveling, they want a DC fast charge. But when you put those 
there is some of those charging locations in cities like Calgary, Kelowna, Abbotsford. And if you look on plug share, people are really unhappy, people that need, people that need sorry, to fast charge, because when they go there, usually they have to wait because people that live in those cities are uh, like leeches, you know. They're, they're like, oh, you know what? I could charge at home all night and it's cheap, it's not expensive. But you know what? I'm gonna go there and charge for free. So they go there, they charge for free, they use the energy in the battery, and then people, and then the charger is in convert, conservation mode, sorry, when there is no energy in the battery remaining, which means you're gonna plug the car and you're gonna have only like six, seven, eight kilowatts. So it sucks for people that want to charge and need to fast charge. So please, on the run, stop making those charging stations free. You know, if you want people to charge at your, uh, use your charging network, yes, maybe you can make it cheaper than the other ones, but not free. It doesn't work. We know that. Uh, all right. So yeah, let's go back to activating the charger. I'm going to make sure that I'm still screen recording. All right. There you go. So I'm going to start the Journey Rewards app. And it's always going to say, sorry, something went wrong at the beginning. I don't know why, but you just say, got it. Then you go on Charge EV. It's going to send you on the map. If you're at the charging location, it's going to be right in front of you. You click on it, Charge EV. And this one is the charge, charger number uh, is actually, I'm not sure where it's written. Oh, it's right there. Yeah, sorry, I'm blind. So 0032, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, use the right connector, click on the right connector here. It says plug-in vehicle. All right, let's do that. Okay, start charging. Charge in progress. Please wait, charging session starting up. Says so the same on the app. Pum, pa, dum, pum, pum, pum. It's taking a long time. Oh, there you go. We're charging. 41 kilowatts, 55 kilowatts. Good. Well, we're having good speed. I'm pretty happy with that. 106, 107. Nice. Okay, let's take a look at the data. So you can see on the app, it shows you the current power, the energy delivered. Actually, there is nothing. I guess it's gonna update later. We'll come back to that later. Okay, I'm recording that after the, the video you're watching, guys. I'm sorry, it's gonna require some uh, editing, but I forgot to mention something important. So I'm gonna show it to you right now. We're still charging here at the on-run uh, location in Beerspaw. And what I forgot to mention that I think is important is that uh, when you are charging, when someone is charging, and see we're taking 110 kilowatts now, uh, so that's going to be enough to go home. I'm going to disconnect uh, just after recording that. But the other charger, and this one actually, it looks like it stopped working. It was saying that you could use it, but it looks like now you, it says you cannot. So anyway, when it works, the other one will, uh, it's going to share the power and you're going to have 75 kilowatts on each side if the charger is able to deliver. So if it can only deliver 110 kilowatts, well, then you're going to have 60 kilowatts or 55, I guess, on each side. So that's what I forgot to mention is they're gonna share, the charger is gonna share the power between the two connectors. Uh, so you can charge two cars on those specific chargers. It's not like the Electrify Canada chargers, for example, where there is two connectors, but you can only charge one car. Uh, I think that was important to mention that. Back to the video, thank you. Anyway, let's go back to the numbers. So what are we taking? I'm still screen recording, so that's good. 100 kilowatts going in the battery, 101. And uh, I want the, oh yeah, and we're taking 280, 288 amps. And the charger can give you 350 when the battery is full. So yeah, there is, uh, the battery has been used already, so that's why. But you know, still, I think 110 kilowatts is pretty decent. It's gonna give you a good charge. Let's take a look at the car over there, see how much it gets. So that's good because we don't have to try the other charger. Someone is doing it for us. I'm just going to go there. And I can see that that guy is having 80 kilowatts. But, you know, that's pretty much the maximum I think you can have on a Kia Niro. So that's good. It means those two chargers are working pretty well. So 
yeah, I think that's a win for uh, that's a win for on the run. You know, if uh, if you charge, if you use an on the run charging location that hasn't been used before, it means you're going to have good charging speed. Uh, and yeah, those chargers, I didn't talk about that at the beginning, but the fact that they are battery powered, it allows to place them in really remote places when the electrical infrastructure is not great. So I think they're really a good deal. I think it's a very good idea and I'm pretty happy that uh, they're uh, placing all those chargers around British Columbia and, uh, and Alberta. So yeah, I think that's pretty much it. It works, it's easy to start a charge, it's free, <laughs> which, you know, it's nice, but it kind of suck in my opinion for the reason I mentioned before. Uh, we have good charge, so yeah, I say it's a, it's a win for on the run charging station. Sorry. Uh, thanks for watching the French Connection, and I'll see you next time.